And now, our commander leader, Thunderbird 1, Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Walsh. You got it, boss. Good afternoon, Niagara. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Walsh, and on behalf of the entire team, we are excited to put on an amazing show for you today. But before that, we got some serious business to take care of. I'd like to take a few moments just to talk about the base and the town that have welcomed us in such a fantastic way these past few days. Now, I admit I'm a little bit biased. I'm from New York. So it's always good to get home where the attitude is similar, people move fast, and treat each other nicely. So I knew that it was going to be a great sight on the way in here. But I wasn't really that familiar with Niagara or with the base. And what I found here was amazing. The interaction between the base and the civilian community was truly united. To come together and put on a, an amazing international air show, look at the ramp out there. That is not normal for your average air show to have the array of flying acts, the array of static displays, the international nature of all the flying demonstrations. Niagara proves that while the width of a, of a river may separate two nations, it doesn't separate good people with the ability to come out and, and enjoy an air show, to enjoy each other's company, and to still have fun. So thank you for welcoming the team in such a special way. Now I'd like to draw your attention to the men and women that are behind me here because they represent the newest airmen that are about to join our United States Air Force. They also represent a very small community. So small, in fact, that it's less than 1% of the population that raises their right hand, takes the oath to defend our freedoms and our way of life, to allow for the opportunity for us to enjoy days like today where we can see the Canadian snowbirds and the United States Air Force Thunderbirds share the skies. So we all know they couldn't get here by themselves, so to the friends, family members, and colleagues that are out here today, thank you for raising such men and women of character and distinction. And to the enlistees, it's truly my honor to be able to conduct this ceremony today, and I'm happy to be the first one to welcome you to the military family. Ladies and gentlemen, as a sign of respect, please rise as I administer the oath of enlistment. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> 